to my home. My name is Kenna and I am your favorite Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. Thank you very much for clicking on today's video. So on today's video, I am going to be talking about the home, how to make your house smell really nice. Getting your house to smell nice and just warm, sweet has always been something that I really, really like because I go to some people's houses and their houses smell really good. And I'm like, God, when? When will my house smell like this? So if you have been watching me for a while, you will know that I have been trying so many things. I've been buying different diffusers. I've been trying different candles and just things like that. Trying to figure out a way to make my house to have this beautiful smell. But I would say I haven't really succeeded because for all the diffusers I got, or maybe the candles, they weren't working so well. They weren't doing what I wanted to, what wanted them to do. So I had just ended up using them like decorations in my house. Like you come, if you come to my, with the little stands here, you see so many candles, but none of them were giving me what I wanted it to be given. You get so, I did not give up. I have not given up. I did not give up. I, so I did not give up. I just kept pushing, kept going. And I finally said, you know what? Let me just ask somebody from there abroad to send me this thing. So I spoke with my sister about it. And my sister sent me a couple of products, which I'm going to be showing you here, how I use it to make my house smell beautifully. But before we go into that, I want to first of all talk about why your house may smell funky. Or for your house to smell like nothing funky is going on and all that, there are things that you obviously have to do. So I'll just talk about those things very fast with you before I'm moving to show you how I make my house smell beautifully. So the very first thing that we'll talk about here is decluttering. I've spoken about decluttering so many times here. I talk about it all the time. If your house is too choked up, too tight, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, things that you're not using, old pots and all things like that, your house is too tight. The tighter the house, the greater the possibility that your house is going to smell bad because you're forgetting some things in one corner and those things are smelling bad. In Duala, we first of all have the problem of moisture. Moist, like things have this moist smell, so you have to constantly be checking places and decluttering and decluttering or else your house will smell really funky the next thing is the toilet a lot of people just ignore their toilets they clean their toilets like once in a month okay but i'll always say it's good to clean your toilet like twice or once a week okay it's good to clean your toilet quite often because we all know what goes down there we all know the smell that comes out from toilets okay we know what goes down in the toilet so why would you not want to take care of that place? Like normally, if you don't put extra effort, your toilet is going to smell bad. Not to talk about Duala where the toilet systems here are really bad. So if you don't concentrate on your toilet, your house would stink. I've even seen cases where they, they say the toilet burst. Okay, the toilet burst. And when the toilet burst, your house will smell like crazy. Okay, so imagine you not taking care of your, your house and your house is smelling like the toilet is co has constantly burped. It's not a nice thing. Another, Another thing, thing that I'm going to talk about is organizing, folding clothes and things like that. Especially your kids' room. We know what kids do. They'll suck sweets, throw under the bed, eat food, throw it, throw things here, take their dirty clothes, wrap up, put in their normal, in their closets like it's clean. So you have to monitor those things because kids' rooms, eh, kids' rooms will be stinking very often if you don't check it so that's one place that i am always on top i'm always like no um at least once a month i have to fold all of my kids clothes take everything out of their closet their shoes take everything out fold them arrange them because i am trying to avoid that smell so when you're doing these things you just notice that your house if your house was smelling in one way the smell will just start reducing without you even doing anything to begin with another thing that will bring a lot of smell in the house is shoes see we wear shoes, there are some people who have sweaty feet, there are some people who really do not have sweaty feet, but their shoes will be sinking, okay? So when you wear your shoes, you want to sun them, you want to air them, put them out there, let air pass, okay? You want to keep stinky shoes out there first so that enough air should pass. The shoe should be airy before you boot it into the house, okay? Because sometimes our shoes will be stinking up the place and you're like, oh, a rat is dead here. No, a rat is not dead. A rat. It's not that. It's your shoes that is smelling. So you want to take out stinky shoes. You want to sun them. If you wash shoes, ensure that they are properly dried before you bring them to the house. Because man, those things can stink, stink, stink. The thing is, you also want to do laundry frequently. I know some people who keep their clothes because they have a lot of clothes. They'll keep their clothes and pile their clothes and pile their clothes and not wash it often. Dirty clothes brings a lot of bad smell in the house. So you want to try to do your laundry as often 
as possible and last but not least i'll talk about the kitchen so some of us we neglect our kitchen a lot we don't clean it often we don't deep clean it i deep clean my kitchen every friday clean it really well for all the smell of rats and all the food that might have fallen left right front center clean it because that can also bring a lot of smell especially your sink you have to clean your sink don't just clean it with soap and leave it clean it and then often you um, my plumber had told me that you always have to once in a while throw boiling water hot water in the sink because it just unclogs it it cleans it and all that so these are just the things that i feel like before you want to go on the journey of oh i want my house to smell good you want to ensure that these things are down because if <laughs> if they're not down my dear man <laughs> we're in trouble okay so after saying that i'm going to now go on to tell you those things i do to make my house smell nice so the very first thing i do to make my house smell really nice is to use scented products guys ah, i cannot be grateful enough for all that my sister bought for me and the thing is if you're in camera maybe having some of these products might be difficult but just i'll tell you to try to get them at bookhands or at big supermarkets like super U. but it's difficult to see things like this at supermarkets here because since we're more french inclined a lot of the products here come out uh, come from France, so you might not see some of these things. So I would say it's preferable to look in the brocades if you want these things. So the first thing we use is palm olive. Wow. Okay, palm olive has a beautiful smell, and this is what I use to clean a lot of surfaces. I clean my tables in the house. I clean my gas cooker with palm olive because it works a lot for greasy areas. So cleaning your gas with palm olive is so good. I also clean my sink with it because you all know you know how greasy things get. So using it, and also when I'm doing my laundry, if there's an oil stain. Or things like that I just take a little bit of the um, palm olive and I put it on it and it helps a lot it helps a whole lot so this is one of the things that I use and I love it obviously because it smells really nice okay the second thing I'm going to talk about is pine saw see guys hey I don't know what I'm going to do without pine saw because this one it is it is close to my heart guys I love it I love it I'm just like where have you been <laughs> Please, eh? Anybody who is in there abroad and you have a container coming, just drop me a bottle of pine salt in there. I love pine salt. One, I love the smell. You can use pine salt first of all to dry clean your floor. So when you want to dry clean your house, you just drop a little bit of water in it and then you go ahead and dry clean your house. That is not all. Also, if you have kids that maybe pee on the bed that wet the bed yes or they pee on the carpet i can remember when i had money my when my kids were still young i would always complain and complain here oh my god my kids would just stand and pee on the carpet when they're not wearing their diapers how can i handle that pine saw will help you a lot on that all you have to do with pine saw is drop a little bit of pine saw inside water and then you drop some vinegar or you drop some salt you take it take that solution and drop it on the spot where they pee so if your child is peeing on the bed and your you know the way rooms that um, houses that kids pee in smell okay so hmm, you want to just take that pine salt put it on the area that the child peed on and leave it to dry off it's going to soak up that horrible pee smell and all you have to do is put it there leave it for 15 minutes come back and clean it and you're good to go pine salt will just it's for me i feel like pine salt is that magic thing another place where i use pine salt is in my toilet okay so i like i'll tell you to use essential oils but i haven't bought any essential oils so i use pine salt the first part in the toilet that i use pine salt for is in my toilet brush so we all know how funky the toilet smells so i was like where can i keep something that'll make this house smell really nice and i saw oh the toilet you know your toilet brush i just Put in some pine saw in the carrier of the toilet brush and I put it there so that each time somebody has to take up that brush to scrub the toilet it leaves it with that nice smell so that is how I use pine saw I feel like that I feel like that should be the few ways I use pine saw I use pine saw see pine saw for me is just like I use it for everything but for this video purpose let's just say these are the few ways I use pine salt. Another, another way that I try to get my house smelling good, beautiful, sweet is to obviously use diffusers, use candles, use um yeah, use diffusers and candles. Okay, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've had a lot of trouble with diffusers and candles because they, they the smell was not lasting. Yeah, the fragrance would not last for long. So I was just like, mm, what am I supposed to do? So I asked my sister to buy. So she got me um 
different diffusers which smell really really good i was so upset because one broke one got broken no before it reached here but the fragrance that smell i left it in my palette for two weeks before the smell went so i was like this is the kind of thing i needed so i'm opening up one of them to just put so um i i since the since this particular fragrance since this particular one smells so good i decided not to throw the bottle i'm just going to divide some of this new one to and turn it into the bottle so that i can put it in two different parts of my palette because i also feel that another issue with my sitting room is that since it's not too small or it's not tight it's too airy it's difficult for me to have the perfect fragrance that is going to go round in the whole parlor so i've decided to put this in two parts of the house the next thing i'll talk about is candles yes candles see guys i like the vibe that candle brings but you know having kids using candles is not that safe okay so i cannot use candles as often but i would love to use candles in my room i use candles in my room to set the mood to just calm me when i just want to have a quiet time i'm just going to put my candle at the corner maybe a glass of wine that's a lie i don't drink wine <laughs> maybe just put like a glass of juice something i like eating i just sit and i'm snacking and watching a movie or working or just doing anything it just sets me in the mood and i love we that. know how kids are i cannot use any of the diffusers i would love to use in my kids room because they'll go and break it they will break it and i don't have money to be buying new ones so i can't use the diffusers in my kids room so what i do is to basically use this um, air freshers okay these air freshers i love them so so much i just spray it in my kids room and it lasts for a cool 24 hours so when they have gone to school i just come back arrange their things fold their things put everything together and i go ahead and spray it spray it because my kids room i've said it a lot of times my kids room will be smelling funky if you're not taking good care of the kids if you're not packing the their things properly so i would just spray it and it smells so good so fresh and when they come back they're like oh mommy i don't smells good two two minutes later they are busy scattering the whole place so yeah that is one way i use it and then another way that i use this air fresher is just to spray on my pillows in the house so that when somebody sits down and they hold your pillow you know the people come and visit you and they carry whole pillows eh? i don't want the pillow smelling funky because we know what children will be doing with some of these pillowcases sometimes sometimes they'll be licking it sometimes they'll be wiping their sweat with it and things like that so to just avoid that kind of embarrassment when i wash them i spray them and i put them there so when a guest comes and the guest sits on the chair they get that beautiful smell so that is also another way i use that is also another thing i use to get my house smelling really nice the next thing is your girl's favorite i've talked about lysol here lysol all-purpose cleaner i use this on my toilet mostly i use it in the sink i use it to clean like it this is really good i've talked about lysol so many times at this point i'm like lysol can i come and sponsor my my program my channel okay or a video but you see this lysol lysol is easy to get in cameroon though it's not this one with the lemon fragrance lemon is one of my favorite um my favorites so um yeah my favorite scent so yeah this lemon one at least you can get lysol here at the brookhans it's always very common i found it there's one brookhan not too far from my house that sells lysol so you can get this it makes your toilets sparkling clean sparkling white like you're just like oh my god oh my god and then we have clorox you can clean all surfaces with this as well and it's not the clorox that has bleach because we also have a clorox that um has bleach this one is not the bleach clorox because it says here that bleach free so you can use this to clean areas and it's also the lemon scent my sister knows i like lemon so she sent um she sent me many things like that okay so from these things I, I keep talking about how they smell so if you want your house to smell beautiful you want to begin by using um cleaning agents using things that are well, have beautiful smells like when you clean your house with this thing somebody comes and it's like oh my god it smells really nice when you use um lysol to clean your toilet somebody comes in it leaves that good fresh smell in the toilet so that's the first thing last but not least we have this airwick diffuser i am going to be trying this like the, the diffusers i've not tried them is this a diffuser 
stage is that. Infused with natural oils, fresh water, full infused, scented. Guys, I don't know what this is, but <laughs> I was like, let me just say it's a diffuser because it has this, right? So I feel like we call it diffuser, okay? So this, I might use one of these and put in this bottle. I might take one of the three and put if it's possible, though. So yes, we're going to be trying all of this and. I have seen a lot of reviews about this Eric um, diffuser and I feel like it's going to be amazing so I'm excited and we're going to do this together and I'm obviously going to tell you guys what I think about it. Are just a few ways I make my house smell nice and whoo guys I'm so proud of myself when I enter into my house now I'm like mm, nice but before when I used to enter in my house I was like <laughs> no so yeah guys that is it did you enjoy this video do you want me to do more videos like this if you have any video suggestions you know how it goes just let me know in the comment section okay tell me what other kind of video concerning homemaking you would like me to do and i definitely will try doing it that said thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button please click on the subscribe button because like i said this is my road to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for watching this video and I am going to see you on my next one. Love you.